I, I think this documentary is just important because it shows that we can change laws to create a safer nation, and that it works in other nations across the country. Oh, ah, sorry, <laughs> I'll go back. Uh, this documentary is really important because it really shows what can happen when we change things and what happens when we don't change things, it perpetuates. And so the shooting happened across the sea and they changed things and it stopped. And shootings like that happen all over this country and we don't change anything, it doesn't stop. And so we need to change something, so it does. I, I, was, I was speaking to the father who came in from the United Kingdom and he was explaining to me how Newtown and the town in the UK was very much similar. That they were small countryside towns that dealt with this tragedy and that they were told they couldn't go against the system. And if it worked in England, I feel like it can work here. We just need to make sure that people are safer and that's our main message, that we want people to be safer and for more lives to be saved. And if everybody can get up behind that, then we'll really make a better here in America. It, it's all about, it's rev, register, educate, vote. You register to vote, you educate yourself and others, and you continue this conversation and you bring it to the ballot box because that's how we're really going to scare these people that think that they can get away with choosing money and position over human life. We need people to know that by doing this, by being an educated individual, that we can challenge the powers that be that are causing this violence to perpetuate. That's all we have to do is register, educate, vote. I was taught in my AP government class that America is on the side of common sense and that if we have more common sense voters going out there, if we just have more of a representation because the youth in this country right now are about a one in five turnout rate, if we can get that to three out of five or four out of five, the youth of this country would control every election from here until the day they die. It's, it's just something that we can do, just the littlest things that if people go out there and actually share their voice, then it will be heard. People have to use this issue not as a Democrat or Republican issue. They have to look at this as a human issue. They have to look at this line in the sand between who actually wants to save human life and who is letting this continue. And we need to have morally just leaders in office, not just Democrats or Republicans, but morally just leaders on both sides of the aisle. And so that's what our call to action is, is just to question the leadership that be and allow these morally just people to actually rise to power, aside from the corrupt individuals that currently run this country. So we're here for work. <laughs> it's like, it, it, art is super important to us, and a lot of this work is absolutely amazing. I, I wish we could see more of it, but there's so much to do. Yeah, we're, we're just so busy. I mean, we got to see a film last night. It was very interesting about the New York Times. Uh, but, I mean, be, beyond that, we're pretty much busy. We spoke at the New School the other day. We've just been meeting with all these organizations to further not only our cause, but their causes. Because this, this is very much a fight that we all have to be in together because everybody in America is on the same boat. And as long as we can work together against the powers that be, then we will be able to actually cause real change in this country. And the most, the most impressive person that we've been able to meet through all of this, it, was, it wasn't at Tribeca, it was at the New School event where we met Erica Ford, who's been working her entire life against this issue and has done a great deal to end uh, violence in these communities. And uh, it's just about making sure that those people get the right credit because we need to bring up the voices of the people who have been fighting this issue for so long, not just the people in Parkland, but the people around the country who are on this right side of history on this. Because this is going to be the right side of history. We're going to change things. This isn't as polarizing as it seems. I'd say nine out of ten people agree with us wholeheartedly. Uh, and so it's just, it's been absolutely amazing to see so many good people rise up against uh, the powers that be and the evil that allows this to continue. So many people just seem to give up hope. So many people, like, after uh, several things changed in our government, they just sat down and said, whatever I say doesn't matter, but we're here to say it does. That every voice can matter as long as you speak, and if you feel like you're not being listened to, just speak louder.